Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to generate images in any style with Styler AI. And right now, as you can see, we are currently inside the Styler AI landing page. So this is what you should be seeing also on your end. Now the things you're gonna see right here are some products from different creators. To get started with this one, simply click on new project, and I'll see you once inside. So once inside, you're going to be asked what kinds of aspect ratio we're going with. I'm going to go with one by one. And I'm going to name this one sample project, something like that. And click on apply. And now with this one, we're going to have a lot of options on the left side. For example, we can import images. We can text to image or image to image. Generative fill, generative expand, face swap, face repair, and enhance. But please do take note, we only have 200 tokens to work with. And this resets the next day, which is going to be, I think, 21st. Anyway, with this, I'm going to start with text to image. So I'm going to start with no style to see the difference with this one. So I'm going to write a prompt, a dog standing near the beach, smiling, something like that. Let me just type in or spell smiling properly. So with the advanced options, you can enter some negative prompt. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is, no style, and click on Stylerize. So I'm going to get back to you once it's here. So right now we have four results for the text to image. Basically, this one is the first one. Next, fourth and third. So if I click on each one of them, I can place them in the Canva. If you click on that option right there, you can, of course, download the photo. But for now, I'm going to click on it and place it on the Canva. And then once you place it on the Canva, you can show or hide it. You can bring to front, bring to center back, download or delete. So right now I still have my prompt and I'm going to add some style now. So I'm just looking for a style that may work with my design or some prompts here. I think I'm going to go with this one. Psychedelic illustrations. If I click on it right now, I'm going to have a style intensity. So you might ask me what is style intensity? Basically style intensity adjusts how strong the chosen style is presented in the result. By default, the recommended one is 0.6, so I'm going to make sure this is going to be around 0.6. And basically, click on Stylerize. So this will take around a minute or two. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, here's our result right now. And if I just hover my mouse, I can have that option to enable and disable the result. So comparing the two right here, I think this third one is the closest we have. So if I double click on it, I can place it on the Canva. And going back on the Canva, this is the option that I was talking earlier, the eye, the show and hide. So if I click in it, I can directly compare the two. I think this is the most similar I can have between the original photo. So how about this one? Let's explore some more styles. So I'm just going to choose this one right here and choose a different style. I'm going to go with this one right now. How about this one? Cutie 3D. If I click in it right now, make sure this is enabled. So basically, I'm still using the original photo as a reference regarding my new style. Because if I click on the new result, it will take the new style that I choose the qt 3 v and envelop it or develop it in the third or second design I have, which is a bit stretch regarding our target here. So we're just having fun with the designs here or style and I click on Stylerize. So welcome back to the video. Right now here are the results. We have four and out of the four, I think I'm going to call this one as the nearest one we have. This is regarding the background, of course, because this is still a Pixar. So they added a little bit more finesse in the background. So how about we include a style of our own? If I click on the styles and click on my styles right this one, I'm going to create a style or basically upon an image as a reference. So I have a video here or a photo that we can use as a reference. I'm just going to look for it right now. So again, guys, before I click on Stylerize, I just want to make sure I want to show you guys how it looks like. So this is the one we're targeting, a dragon in a bit of a Chinese Japanese style um, portrait. I'm going to click on it right now. Still, I'm not going to use or I'm going to retain my prompt and I'm going to make sure my style intensity is by six. I'm going to click on Stylerize right now. So I'm just not going to skip this video because I want to show you what if I click on this one as zero and then one more example. So I'm going to load them up all the time. I'm going to click on this one as the strongest. So right now I have three pending and I'm going to get back to you once they're all here. So welcome back to the video. 
right now i have three results here one of which is around six intensity and then the other one is zero intensity and for the last one of course i have right here 100 percent intensity or one intensity so to compare it this is going to be the 100 percent or one intensity this is a zero it's much like a different zog entirely and of course we have the perfect blend we have the 0 0.06 or 0.6 rather intensity so again guys in any AA image generation tool you're using if you have an uh, option to use a style intensity please always go to 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 that's the best one yet now what if we're gonna use image to image now because since earlier we're using text to image right so I'm going to delete everything I have here, including layers. I'm going to try to delete everything here if I can, but I'm just going to retain the results. So for image to image, make sure you click on it and then upload the photo. So since with this one, I'm going to use the photo that I got as a sample. This is also from Pixabay. Let me just go to it right now and look for it. I'm going to go with this little girl right here. I'm just going to wait for it to upload itself. Perfect. Now with this one. We're going to have an option to use style there. So may it be with this one, I'm going to use a style regarding this photo. So I think I'm going to go with this guy right here or Vivid Tablox. If you're familiar with um, Studio Ghibli, this is basically the same thing. So I'm going to use it with this one and you can apply auto prompt with this. Basically, um, you're asking Stylerize to describe this photo and it will help guide the prompt with this one so the image shows a young woman with fair skin light brown hair styled in loose waves something like that of course we have style intensity with this one we also have what we call structure match so basically adjust how well the generated image matches the input composite in terms of the content structure basically in how the face is structured that is it and you'll notice with this one you have a suggested range not unlike the style intensity, you with this one, you're gonna have a suggested range. You can also add a face match. This is a fairly new um, feature. Basically, preserve face identity. This is it if you want to use your photo and then retain your face identity and make sure that you don't change it that much. Make sure you choose face match. So, with this one, I think I'm gonna remain everything at default. Click on stylerize, and I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, here's our result. As you can see right here, we have a fairly near to perfect results. If you're going to ask me, I think the third one again is going to be the identical one. If I click on this one, you're going to see how they look like and how they're really the same, right? But if I want to make it more enticing, a little bit more near to perfect, I can just adjust the style intensity and increase the style or structure range, something like that. And this one, I'm going to retain it or decrease it. I'm going to stylerize right now. So welcome back to the video. So I just want to show you this one where you can skip the queue for $10 per month, which is basically 2000 credits per month, fast queue, unlimited auto prompt, commercial use, high resolution export. And of course, the very important one is watermark removal. So I'm going to remove this one right here and compare the new results we have since we have adjusted the intensity and structure. So this is... A bit more weird there if you're gonna ask me so i think this is it the nearest one we have is gonna be this one so if i remove that and then place it right back they're identical comparison with this one right so i think this is much better now for example i add a reference photo regarding our design since we have it i'm gonna go on my styles right there and click on create my style if i want it a little bit more in the van gogh photo or van gogh design since I have a spare photo as a reference. And by the way, with this one, I want to show you the difference in using a prompt with a reference or not. So I'm going to get back to you once it's here. So we have uploaded the Van Gogh style right there. And for the first example, I'm going to remove everything here. And as you can see right there, the style intensity has been adjusted. And of course, the structure match. So I'm going to click on Stylerize right now by default without the prompt. So welcome back to the video. Right now we have this samples where we don't have a prompt right so this is how they look like again this is the original photo and basically they're the same so what if i type in here as a support regarding our prompt if i click on auto prompt right now and see what it gives me up so again guys just want to make sure you have an idea and how it looks like 
they're not really alike. These four photos look like an older woman, where we have right here is a little girl with a girl with the red hair freckles and white shirt looking at the camera. I think this is the best we have as a prompt. I'm gonna stylize it right now. So, I just want to let you know that using a prompt as a backup regarding our style gives us better results. Those are the difference. So I'm gonna get back to you with our final outputs still on the queue. So welcome back to the video. Right now we have our results right here and I think these are much more alike regarding the reference photo versus the older one we have. So to add them up on your Canva again guys, double click on them and you're gonna have them on your Canva right there. So everything in your Canva here can be downloaded at the same time. So another thing to try inside Stylerize is using a sketch image. For example, I have a sketch of Batman here, my favorite superhero. So once you upload Batman or basically your doodle or sketch drawing, go to image to image. And once right here, you'll see on the section right here, it will auto detect what kind of design that you uploaded. So for example, instead of choosing your style tool, you have scene design, illustration design, logo design, how about we go with character design? And with this one, we have steampunk, soft radiance, vivid stylization, linear cartoon, and so much more. For this, I'm gonna go with vivid, and I'm gonna remove the prompt there, and I'm just gonna make sure everything is good. So suggested range is 0.5. I'm gonna go with 0.6 as I promised or suggested. Style intensity, I'm gonna make sure it's 0.5, and basically, click on stylerize. I'm gonna get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, here are designs right here. I have one right there. Basically, the third one is the best result. Upon my researches and trial and error earlier, the third result is actually the best one. Let's check out the first one. It's actually a little bad. Um, second one is weird, especially the last one. That is very weird. So one more thing to talk about Stylerize or Styler AI is that if you hover your mouse on the top section, you're gonna have an option for text and brush. If you click on brush, you're going to have two separate options. You can either draw on blank Canva or draw on a current Canva. So I'm going to choose blank one right there. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to draw a design first. So I'm drawing a heart here. And basically our purpose here is going to be drawing a logo. So please excuse my penmanship because I'm not really good at drawing. And I'm going to make sure this is colored first. For example, so it's really visible. And I'm going to name here this one, Sample Heart. I'm going to minimize the font so it will fit perfectly. Something like that. Make sure this is going to be there. And I'm going to change the font size and font style on this option right here. Now, for example, this is good enough for me. Of course, this is now going to be an image, right? So what more else to do? Of course, go to image to image. Without doing anything, without typing a prompt. Simply choose a design. And of course, go to logo design right there. If I choose one design right there, click on Stylerize, I'm just going to wait for it to finish. And by the way guys, as suggested, always go for 0.6 um, metrics right there, either for structure match and style intensity. So I'm going to get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. So based on our basic example, it's pretty simple. So we're going to have our results right here. So I think the second one right now is pretty good because the third one just really captured my design. So the second one right there for me is good enough. So if I double click on it, I'm going to have it on my Canva. Now, for example, you don't want to draw. If you're like me, you don't have any skills in drawing. You can simply remove everything like that. And then you can just click on it, draw on blank Canva or draw on current Canva. Or you can just simply upload a logo. For example, I think I still have a logo here somewhere. There we have it. So simply upload the logo. Make sure it's going to fit to your screen perfectly right there. And then basically, choose a logo design. Think of it as a reference photo or a reference logo in this manner. So with this one, I'm just going to choose the same design, Stylerize Fortuna or Stylerize Fauna. And with this one, I'm going to click on Stylerize right now. And I'm going to get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, I have four results here, one of which is actually good. And I think the last one is good here now. Again, double click on it to go to your layers so you can really compare it. And basically, that's it. By the way, I have a video on how to fully utilize Stylerize or Styler AI. Please check it out. Anyway, with this one, 
I think we're good enough here regarding the basics on how it used different styles in Stylerize. So you can use a different, for example, you can have different photos, you can have different styles here. So please check them all out. Don't let this be your um, constraint regarding the one I use here. So again, guys, feel free to use everything here. And that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.